Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how easy it is to subscribe to this channel. Now pay close attention. At the beginning of the video, you should see a little box in the top right corner. Click on this, and it'll take you to this page. At this point there, you just click that, and hey presto, you've subscribed. As an added bonus, if I manage to reach 100 subscribers, by the start of September 2013, I'm going to send all my subscribers a very special thank you video. Don't forget, if you wish to discuss any of the matters discussed in the show, you can email me here at Daily Visual Bible by using this address. Now let's do the right thing and I'm God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis Chapter 20 Abraham travelled from there toward the land of the south and lived between Kadesh and Shur. He lived as a foreigner in Gehra. Abraham said about Sarah his wife, She is my sister. Abimelech, king of Gehra, sent and took Sarah. But God came to Abimelech in a dream of the night and said to him, Behold, you are a dead man because of the woman you have taken, for she is a man's wife. Abimelech had not come nearer. He said, Lord, will you kill even a righteous nation? Didn't he tell me she is my sister? She even herself said, He is my brother. And the integrity of my heart and the innocence of my hands, have I done this? God said to him in the dream, Yes, I know that in the integrity of your heart you have done this. And I also withheld you from sinning against me. Therefore, I didn't allow you to touch her. Now, therefore, restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you will live. If you don't restore her, know for sure that you will die, you and all who are yours. Abimelech rose early in the morning, and called all his servants, and told all these things in their ear. The men were very scared. Then Abimelech called Abraham and said to him, What have you done to us? How have I sinned against you, that you have brought on me and on my kingdom a great sin? You have done these to me, that ought not to have been done. Abimelech said to Abraham, What did you see that you have done this thing? Abraham said, because I thought, surely the fear of God is not in this place. They will kill me for my wife's sake. Beside, she is indeed my sister, the daughter of my father, but not the daughter of my mother, and she became my wife. When God caused me to wander from my father's house, I said to her, This is your kindness which you shall show me. Everywhere that we go, say of me, he is my brother. Abimelech took sheep and cattle, male servants and female servants, and gave them to Abraham, and restored Sarah, his wife, to him. Abimelech said, Behold, my land is before you. Dwell where it pleases you. To Sarah he said, Behold, I have given your brother a thousand pieces of silver. Behold, it is for you a covering of the eyes to all that are with you. In front of all you have indicated. Abraham prayed to God. God healed Abimelech and his wife, and his female servants, and they bore children. For Yahweh had closed up tight all the rooms of the house of Abimelech, because of Sarah, Abraham's wife.